Welcome back to Online Darts, everyone. We're here at Brentwood and we've got the bullet, Stephen Bunning. First of all, Stephen, huge congratulations to, to you and your family. It's getting a little bit larger now. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, we're all building up to uh, to the middle of November. Really looking forward to it and uh, to bring another addition into the family is a, a massive achievement. Match play on the horizon. How excited are you to be heading back? Yeah, and although the match play always excites me, obviously going to Blackpool is a, was a holiday destination when I was a kid, and, and just to go back there and play on that stage, it's it's the second biggest title for me behind the, the World Championships, in my opinion, and, and such an iconic venue, such a tough place to win, but when you win there, it's a special feeling. I remember speaking to you on the, the World Series, and you said, look, there, there are a few little things I need to iron out, but it looks as if you're on the, the right way again. Do you feel that the Bullets game is heading in the right direction again? Oh, 100%. Um, I felt, obviously, in uh, Copenhagen and Poland, I didn't play my best start, but I felt like there was there was definitely glimpses there of, of what I can play like. Obviously, playing on the European Tour and averaging 117, and um, throughout this last this last year, I've had a few big averages, which have um, really inspired me to push on. And obviously, I know the games there. Uh, what I do on the practice board is pretty special, and I've just got to replicate that form and take it onto the big stages. What was it like to play on the World Series again? Because it had been a while, but it was a, a recognition of what you'd done and the hard work you put in. How did that feel? Yeah, just to be back on the World Series um, in the elite of the sport, playing with the best players on the sport is is a massive achievement. It shows how far my game's come this last 12 months, 18 months. And um, I want to be playing in these tournaments. I've shouted out loud for long enough now. And um, yeah, I believe my performance has led me to that to that, um, to that that place. And I've just got to keep it up, keep doing what I'm doing. Obviously, winning the Masters, Masters was a massive catalyst for me. And um, yeah, um, it's given me a lot of confidence to push on for the rest of the season. Obviously, the tournaments are coming thick and fast now as well. Um, this is the great time to, to be playing your best form. So um, I'm really optimistic about what the what this next season can bring in uh, onwards and upwards. I see you smiling about everything that you've achieved this year, but when you win that first PDC major, do your own expectations change of what you want from the season? Yeah, of course, because obviously you're always looking for that uh, maiden title, PDC, playing in the, on the big stages, and obviously the Masters has come and gone now. Um, I was capable to do that, and obviously beating the players that I did on the, on the big stage was a massive confidence boost for me, showing that I have got the game to beat these players, um, and I know I can do it again. So whether it be the match play, the World Champs, the Grand Slam, um, I'll be trying 110% like I always do, and um, yeah, let, let's see what happens. But I'm, I'm in a really good place at the minute. Um, obviously, the great baby news as well, and uh, yeah, I'm walking around with a smile on my face, and that makes me very dangerous. You touched on that you were banging the drum for yourself. Now, I don't like to ask this early, but I'm going to anyway. Premier League, is that the one that you want more than ever now? Because you've done it as a contender, is now do you want a full shot at the Premier League? Yeah, of course. I'd be stupid to say I didn't. Um, that's a huge honour to be in the Premier League, and I've done it so many years ago now, 10 years or whatever it was, and I had that little bit of a taste, didn't get relegated, felt like I, I did a bit of justice for myself, played some really good games on there, and um, obviously when you're in them big, big arenas, week in, week out, the fan base that I've built over the last two years, I'd say, um, and people were calling me the people's champion, so... To get back in, in the marinas and playing in front of the fans would be a massive um, boost, not just for, for me and my family, but for the confidence, for the Bunton fans and for the people who watch darts in general. So that, that's what I'm aiming to do. I'd love to be back in it, but there's a lot of hard work between now and the end of the season to, to get there, but I'm willing to put the hours in and, and put the dedication in. Did the first time maybe come too early? I, do, do you know what I mean? That I know you're always going to take it, but in your career, did, did that first shot at it come a little bit early? Yeah, I think, obviously, once I played it and then um, the year after I didn't get put in, it sort of put a massive dent in my confidence. Um, I was moping around on the tour, feeling unwanted, um, whereas now I feel like a shiny gift wrapper. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm wanted on the stages again, and it, it makes me feel happy. But I'll never, ever forget the experience that I gained from being in that Premier League. Obviously, I always remember the first time in the World Championships as well. People were um, comparing, can he win the two? And obviously, I'd, I won the Lakeside, and then obviously the World Championships, I, I would come up against Raymond Van Barneveld. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'd, I'd love to be just be back in the Premier League. It's something that um, 
certain players dream of. And um, yeah, ever since I was a young boy watching that, it was always a tournament that I wanted to play in. And um, that was the big carrot that was obviously um, on the other side when I was BDO that I wanted to do. Heading back to the Winter Gardens, what is it about the place that inspires you guys? Because we know that everyone just falls in love with it. The World Championships is something, but the Winter Garden is something different. What is it that draws you all in? I think it's just a match play. It's just straightforward, no nonsense to, uh, darts, playing against the best in the world. I think I start feeling excited when a draw gets made. Um, you feel a tension in the draw. There's certain players that you probably don't want to play first round, but I think just being back in Blackpool, you see the donkeys, it always seems to be nice weather there. Um, the fans are right on top of you. It's such an iconic venue. There's so many different reasons why Blackpool is so special, but for me as well, it's an hour away from my home. Um, and I have quite a good fan base there, so every year I always look for the calendar and look when the match plays on and uh, try and sort of take it out for the family and stuff. We've seen that famous Winter Garden stage do funny things to people, especially on debut. Couldn't the younger players almost underestimate what it's like going there for the first time? Yeah, no, I definitely think so. Obviously, it's it's a bit different than the Wales. It's it's very it's a smaller venue. Uh, all like I said, all the crowds on top of you, the atmosphere, um, the, the 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 elite of the darts fans. I would say there's um, yeah, it's it's a very difficult venue to win in. Um, the heat in there as well. People don't uh, understand the heat, but obviously these newcomers will feel that for the first time. And uh, just the pressure of winning in Blackpool. Obviously, it's like I said, it's the second biggest tournament on the calendar, and it's it's the one that everyone wants to win. All eyes will be on Luke Littler for obvious reasons. What he's achieved in the last six months, and winning the Premier League is one thing. But this follows on from what I've just asked you. How do you think he'll react to going to the Winter Gardens? Because it's like you say, it's completely different. And do you think he may feel the pressure? I think yeah. I think obviously leading into the tournament, you want to be playing well. Obviously. The last two pro tours he didn't do his best, but uh, there's various reasons behind that for him. Um, but listen, the, the kid's a phenomenal player. Um, he's got a massive, long future ahead of him. And uh, who know, I'm not going to say he's not going to win it because he, he is that good, but there's certain obstacles he'll face, the heat, um, the fans being on top of him, such a small venue. Yeah, um, but can he win it? Of course he can, but so can everyone who's in it. The Women's World match play as well. I know a, a friend of yours, and, and Anna, is making a, a, her return to Tizzy TV darts. It's been a been a while. For someone that you've known for so long, that's a proud moment for Anna to return to TV darts, isn't it? I'm so proud of her. Um, a massive friend of mine uh, and my family's. I've actually got a few practice sessions in with her this week. Um, but she's such a special person, obviously a, a phenomenal player, and I've known her for so long now, but she's, um, on her day, she can win anything. She, she is that good. But um, it's my my task to make sure she's ready for, for the ladies. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll be doing my utmost and she'll bring the best out of me. And um, yeah, we've got a few good days and I'm really looking forward to the practice with her. Have people maybe forgotten what she's achieved in the sport because of all eyes have been on Fallon and, and, and Bo more, more recently? Have people maybe forgotten what Anna achieved and what, what she could possibly go on to achieve still? I think so, yeah. I mean, I was always in awe of, of Anna, what she did in the BDO. Um, such a fantastic player and I've, like I said I've known her for a long long time she's such a special person as well really kind and caring off the hockey got a lovely family Tony Martin's a really good friend of mine as well and uh, no I wish her all the success like I said I'm going to try my best to make sure she's 100% ready for that women's but um, her achievements cannot be underlined enough um, she's been a fantastic ambassador for the for the ladies sport and um, yeah she's such a like I said she's such a great person and uh, I'm so proud of it for, for sticking with it and obviously she's back and it'll be great to see her on the big stage again before we let you go obviously I know you're going to win every tournament but yourself set yourself a minimum expectation for the match play I think I've had a few bad years at, at the match play, um, but obviously I've got a tough opponent in Ryan. But I've just got to make sure that I, I give it all, win that game, and then anything can happen. But you can't win a tournament if you don't get through the first game, so to take my eye off the ball against Ryan would be a, a silly thing to do. I need to be focused 100%, ready for that game, and um, I'm sure we'll have a good black belt. Steve, pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.